Hello everyone, welcome back to Mrs. Refu channel. Hello to the jury crew. If you are new to this channel, welcome to the family. It is a very nice channel and I hope you are going to enjoy our videos. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you how I make a very tasty vegetable sauce. So it's 100% vegetables, no sardines, no meat whatsoever. So what type of vegetables can you find in these two? Well, zucchini, courgette, onions, bell peppers, oyster mushrooms, no more mushrooms. Henry, stop it. <laughs> um, so all type of vegetables you can ever find. So if you are vegetarian, this stew is very good for you. And also there is a hint of uh, crayfish powder just to enhance the flavor. But if you don't like it, please don't use it. But if you do, well, it is a plus. What can you eat with this stew? Well, I've got here um, yum and I've also got uh, plantain, which is my favorite by the way. You can also have it with uh, rice, spaghetti, potatoes, basically anything you like it is just a very nice stew that you really must try thank you for watching this with me um, i'll see you next time don't forget to like my videos watch it in hd because it gives you an amazing video quality i'll see you next time bye bye, bye. now I, ha I have to run <laughs>
and then I'll leave it to cook for about three minutes and then I'm gonna add my tomato puree or my tomato paste so as I said this is a full tube of tomato puree and then I'm gonna stir it and leave it to cook for five to seven minutes and then I'm gonna add my tablespoon of curry powder and tablespoon of thyme stir it and leave it on for about three minutes next adding the tomato sauce so this is the homemade tomato sauce very tasty stir it and leave it to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes on medium heat and covered so now oil has come on top and I'm going to add all my vegetables so I cut them all into pieces and now I'm dumping them all into it except the cabbage of course that will be the last one to be added and this one here are my oyster mushrooms and now I'm adding my bell peppers so these are the three bell peppers I showed you in the beginning give it a stir don't worry your stew will be nice it's not too much it's just perfect and then I'm gonna add my close cup mushrooms and cover it so now I'm gonna let it cook for another 15 minutes but from time to time I will come and give it a little stir you know just to make sure it cooks properly so just as you see here just a little stir a nice simple stir and then cover it again for the remaining minutes okay dear friends we can now add our cooked cabbage so if you remember I cooked them at the beginning give it a stir and then add in the spices these are all the spices i showed to you okay if you want to add any other spices please go ahead and do it but this is what i use for this recipe and it works very well give it a stir and then add in one tablespoon of crayfish or prawn powder so the ground one okay it's different from the stock one stir it and then add in the spring onions or green onions depending on how you call it let it cook for another 10 minutes on a lower heat and voila your vegetable sauce is ready this is a slow motion for you <laughs> okay guys so recap you can eat it with anything you like whatever you like even if you get abolo you can eat it with by the way i'm gonna post a recipe for that so I had a mine with uh, yam and plantain and I enjoyed it guys. This recipe is amazing. You won't miss eating meat. And you know what? When you look at this stew, you think, oh, this can't be vegetables only. It looks like there is some meat or some tuna fish inside. No, guys, this is pure vegetable sauce and you are going to enjoy it. Trust me on that one. Thank you all for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being subscribed to me, for leaving me comments, for liking my video. Thank you also for those who don't like my videos. <laughs> I'll see you next time. You all take care. Bye-bye.